friends today is wow series 15 that is 15 i am going to talk to you about concept of 30 and 3 in our relationship with others some relationship with some people so that means get spoiled which result in unpleasantness unhappiness for one side or sometimes for both sides when relationship soars a blame game begins each party accusing other for the spoiling of relationship sometimes it may result in self flagellation thinking that he or she is responsible for spoiling the relationship it may also result in one party feeling guilty and the other party feeling victimized this type of situation may develop among relatives friends friend circles and also in work situations in this connection one has to remember that all the times with all the people one cannot maintain harmonious relationships here comes the concept of 30 and 3 please note out of 30 relationships if 3 so would you like to make yourself unhappy or would you like to look into your 30 relationships which are working harmoniously and feel happy this doesn't mean please remember this doesn't mean that you will not make efforts to repair the discordant relationships but if it is beyond you then accept it and move forward with the remaining 30 beautiful relationships in the work situation also you may be liked by 30 but there will be some who are unhappy about your popularity prominence and try to spread spread canards about you that means rumors about you they try to write anonymous letters to management just few days before you are going for interview for promotion or spread negative things about you you cannot do anything about it the choice for you is to either go with a troubled mind or with full confidence in your work and your preparation for interview and attend the interview in the same way in a day there are 30 good beautiful things happening examples are you are looking at a beautiful flower sunset feeling the breeze on your face talking to a lovely child observing a smile on the wrinkled face of a old woman loving glances of a young man at his girlfriend and some friend appreciates the dress you wear someone praises your artistic abilities etc same day some three things may happen like your neighbor shouting at you the vegetables ordered by you online are not fresh there is a small clash of ideas of you and your friend the question again here is would you like to spoil your mood and mental balance thinking of these three negative things or dwell on the 30 positive things happen choice is yours please remember this negative bias is our tendency not only to register negative stimuli more readily but also to dwell on these events this negative bias means that we feel the sting of rebuke more powerfully than we feel the joy of praise in almost any interaction we are more likely to notice negative things and later remember them more vividly as humans we tend to remember negative experiences better than positive ones recall insults better than praise feel strongly to negative stimuli think about negative things more frequently than positive ones respond more strongly to negative events than to equally positive ones in studies conducted by psychologist john kesipo participants were shown pictures of either positive negative or neutral images the researchers then observed electrical activity in the brain negative images produced a much stronger response in the cerebral cortex than did positive or neutral images because negative information causes a surge in activity in critical information processing area of the brain uh, our behaviors and attitudes tend to be shaped more powerfully by bad news experiences and information then the question comes how to overcome negative bias there are steps you can take to change your thinking and fight the tendency towards negative thinking one is negative self talk start pay pay paying attention to the type of thoughts that run through your mind after an event takes place your your you might find yourself thinking things like i shouldn't have done that the negative self talk 
shapes how you think about yourself and others a better tactic is to stop those thoughts whenever they begin instead of fixing on past mistake that cannot be changed consider what you have learned and how you might apply that in future reframe the situation how you talk to yourself about events experiences and people play a large role in shaping how you interpret events when you find yourself interpreting something in a negative way or only focusing on the bad aspects of the situation look for ways to reframe the events in a more positive light please remember this doesn't mean ignoring potential dangers or wearing rose colored glasses it simply means refocusing so that you give fair and equal weight to good events establish new patterns when you find yourself ruminating on things look for an uplifting activity pull yourself out of this negative mindset for example if you find yourself mentally reviewing some unpleasant event or outcome consciously try to re- redirect your attention elsewhere and engage in an activity that brings you joy thank you very much friends please go through it and please tell me how you feel about this concept